What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and I got a quick video for you guys. We're going to set up 4K HDR on a Samsung Q90T. Now, I would imagine this would work on the Q60, Q70, Q80T, and the higher end models like the 95 TS or the whatever, whatever the 8K models are. I don't know off the top of my head. There's just so many model numbers to deal with. Now, if you're looking to get the most out of your 4K devices and make sure they're working all in harmony and of course get the best picture out of your TV, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and for sure hit the bell so you know when the next video releases. I got a lot more TVs coming in. So this is gonna be the place to be. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? What I'm gonna show you is gonna work for the Xbox One X, uh, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 5, any kind of 4K Blu-ray player, and any kind of streaming device like an Apple TV 4K, a um, Roku Ultra, or like your um, NVIDIA Shield Pro as well. So here's the thing. Samsung actually has a pretty decent automatic, you know, locator setup or situation, so. As long as that is working, you're good to go. However, sometimes it doesn't work and the like, you know, there's like a handshake issue or it's just kind of confused and it won't set up your input for HDR. Now, most of the time when game mode is set to auto, then it should work properly. But there are times when it doesn't. So I'm going to be using Xbox One X just to show you, uh, you know, no green check marks to all green check marks, except for the one Dolby Vision, because obviously, you know, Samsung's don't support Dolby Vision. So there you go. So let's jump on the Xbox and look at the 4K details page. All right, to get there, we need to go to general TV and display options and then 4K TV details. As you can see, we got a couple of green check marks, a couple of reds, and like, I guess it's a, it used to be like a yellow eye with the circle in it, but then they changed it to white after one of these updates. So now we need to get into the Samsung menu. So press the home button and scroll to the left until you get to the settings cog. Select the settings cog, and now we scroll down to general. Next, we need to go to external devices, and then we get to input signal plus. Now, this is the place where we select the HDMI port we wish to change. In this case, it is HDMI 3. That's the one we wanna change. All right, now that that's done, let's exit out of the Samsung menu and get back to the Xbox One X and into the 4K TV details screen. And here we have all green check marks except for the Dolby Vision because it's just not supported with Samsung. Okay, let's jump into Call of Duty and get into the settings pop-up, not the entire menu. As you can see here, HDR standard is the current mode. Let's turn on game mode to see what happens. Now we've got it all set up. It's set to an HDR game mode along with FreeSync HDR. There you have it. Now, if you have this game mode situation set to auto, then it should work out perfectly for console situations. However, if you do have 4K Blu-ray players or any kind of streaming box that requires 4K and HDR, Auto may not be working for them, even though they do like a device setup whenever you plug in a new device and turn it on to the TV. So just in case you're not getting HDR, you wanna go follow these same steps for that device. So you're probably wondering, hey, Techno Dad, did you get two TVs in? Yes, I did. I got the Sony A8H OLED and I got the Samsung Q90T because they were right around the same price. And right now it's really hard to find an LG OLED. Not sure what's up, but they're just back ordered everywhere. So my connection can't get it. I'm sure if they're in a store somewhere, they're there. Uh, I just can't get my hands on it. So I figured getting the Sony OLED would be close enough since it's like $1,800. And since this Samsung Q90T is also around $1,800, I figured it'd be a good matchup. You get the OLED versus the QLED kind of thing, even though, yes, we know, Samsung has dumbed down all their TVs except for their 8K TVs, which is kind of a lame move, I think, on their part. Now, what I mean by that is Samsung went and put like 480 dimming zones on their 8K TVs and left all their 4K TVs with something like 96, like in this uh, Q90T. So that is kind of lame. 
Um, as you guys know, FALD and having multiple dimming zones or more dimming zones actually gets a better black image on an LCD LED TV. So it's kind of bunk. But hey, you know, these are in the same price range as a Sony OLED and as an LG OLED. So, you know, if you guys are looking for the Samsung Q90T, definitely check out your OLED options because you're probably going to get a little bit better uh, picture quality. Now the gaming situation might be different, so that's another topic altogether. I will be making an unboxing video for this TV. I'm just uh, waiting to do some more measurements to tell you guys which picture modes are the best ones to get you started off on the right foot. And it's gonna be awesome because I got a lot of cool stuff coming through. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D, I'm your techno dad and I'll see you next time. <laughs>